Why hello. I see that you have all come to this award show tonight. That is very interesting. I hope the night is going well for everyone. Sorry I have quite a headache. It isn't easy controlling the Wayback Machine. Now where was I? Yes that's right the meat boxes. Well it all began. I'm sorry what? That's right the flea boxes. Well it all began way back in 1998. Skye Jelset and Robin Pecknold become childhood friends. They would spend their time hanging out in their science teacher's classroom listening to music and trading mp3s. Years later they decide to start a band and call it the Pineapples. They play a few shows on the east side, which I have some photographic evidence of here. But they were later approached by another band called the Pineapples who threatened to sue, so they had to come up with a new name. It was decided at some point, and for some reason, that the name would be Fee Boxes. And so, the band was formed. With local producer extraordinaire Philip Eck, they recorded some of the songs they had been performing as a six song EP, and sold it at local record shops and shows. They played at such local venues as the Chop Suai, the Crocodile, and Numos. Some time passed. And their sound continued to evolve. They took a shift from the earlier material, and started writing and practicing and performing, until they had an entirely new batch of songs. They saved up money, borrowed some from family members, and recorded some of the tracks, in the basement of Robin's parents' house. And in the spring of 2007 set to record a bounty of songs at the legendary London Bridge Studios. Like that, I yeah. actually have some videographic evidence of what transpired yeah. there. A summer passed, and a short break was taken from recording, and Robin took a trip to Europe, and upon returning the group set about recording the rest of the album. After the record was finished it was passed along to some folks at the legendary record label Sub Pop, and upon listening they decided to enlist the young band as the newest member of their musical family. The band continued to play shows in local establishments. They also played some of their songs on the worldwide interweb, attracting some generous support from people they didn't even know. The record was then released on June 3rd, 2008, and featured a painting by young art student Peter Brugel on the cover. I believe it was done using kid pics. They enlisted other members from the local Seattle music scene, including Cassie Westcott, Christian Wargo, and Joshua J. Tillman. After the release of the record the beatboxes decided it wise to travel to some other cities, to play the same songs, that were also on the music record. I have some photographic and videographic evidence of said travel adventures. Someday this will all be mine. I'm sorry what? Ah, that's right the Meat Clarkses. Well, the band has since had the wonderful opportunity to travel around to some very interesting places in the world in support of their record. And now they have recently returned home to the delight of their family and friends, where they will remain and begin work on the second record. I can't wait. The band would like to thank you all very much for the privilege to be recognized by the great city of Space Needle. What's that? Ah yes. The great city of Seattle. Thank you, and long live our leader. <laughs>